is the Sanahiri of Asante and Odipo of Bonsukwanta Adam Masi. His father's mother, Ikuma Adome, in the central area, he was the second born of his parents and had five siblings. As a knowledgeable, resourceful person with a passion for service network of nations with people of diverse religions, culture, and political affiliations. He received basic education at Rapid Preparatory School in Sunyale. Secondary education at Opokuwa School in Kumatsi. At Obuas, he became a senior prefect, exemplified as standing leadership. John and many, John and various degrees, including a Bachelor of Arts, Honours in Economics of Philosophy in the University of Ghana, a Bachelor of Laws from the University of Ghana, and a professional law degree from the school, Ghana School of Law. Not seated with her high academic, academic credentials, credentials, he earned Master of Business Administration, MBA, in Finance, and a Doctor of Business Administration from the Swiss Business School through the Noble International School. As a public servant, John left an indelible footprint when he served as the CEO of the National Innovation and Entrepreneurship Program, NEP. Among other things, he trained out of entrepreneurs, some of whom now own businesses in Ghana and abroad. John had six children. Elder Boateng Bwat Makuma, John Alan Shamatin Kuma, Valentina Ampontia Kuma, Jemo John Kuma, George Kuma, and Nanaya Kuma. He was married to Apostle Mrs. Lady Kuma, the founder of the Disciples of Christ Ministry, Wager. When John was a child, an unfortunate incident happened in his family house at Odaho, where a man used to live directly opposite to the family house, would go and drink alcohol and come and insult everyone in his house, in the family house. One day, this man had a fight with John's uncle, and in the midnight, the uncle was murdered. This got John, this got John angry, and as a small boy around the age of 12 years old, he walked to the man and told him, I will grow up to become a lawyer one day and take you to court. Many years after, John became a lawyer and took this man to court and had a sentence for him on a different matter before the man died six years ago. He was determined and focused on everything he wanted to achieve. As a politician, John rose like a meteorite, meteorite and was seen as a man with love and passion for his country's well-being. In 2020, he was elected as a member of parliament for a judicial constituency. Subsequently, His, His, His Excellency Nana Adugwanko Akufu Ado appointed him Deputy Minister for Finance, where he was designated to head the World Press Unit. Throughout his campaign to be elected as member of parliament for a judicial, his major message, his major campaign message was to build an ultra-modern party office for his party. Less than a year after being elected, he learned to make his, this dream come true, but he could not commission it. One other campaign promise was to give jobs and build entrepreneur in his constituency. Today, we have hundreds of able and qualified men and women, youth from this constituency, in the police, military, fire service, prisons, immigrations, and others. Through his club, 100, through his club, he helped many youth to become their own bosses. When he was a child, he dreamed of becoming a contractor, like one of the big contractors who visited his father's cocoa depot in Poshkas. He questioned why, he had, where, why they had to drive such Poshkas on rough wood and on tie roads and vow to be a contractor when he grows up and will build the roads and make them wild and asphalted. True, this, true, to the, true, sorry, true to that dream, his major priority in the campaign message 
was to give his constituency as fighter rules. Within two years in office, as a member of parliament for his constituency, in partnership with a private company, built an asphaltic plant in the constituency to make his dream of making all adjacent town roads as part come true. Today, we see the construction of some major roads in the constituency going on, and these were his dreams coming true, but could not witness. Honorable John Kuma, life, was, life on earth was relatively short, but his impact was massive. He made his parents out, supported his siblings, dignified, nurtured his children, self-consistent, country and humanity with distinction, and died as a hero. He was kind, diligent, humble, courageous, assertive, innovative and patriotic. He was a good man. These were his words. It's not how long you live on earth, but the impact you make. Fast and speed. Don't throw and hope. Aim and fire. Keep your eyes on the ball always. What is written is written. Thank you.